In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to throw yourself through a window like I do in this sketch. Hey, guess what? Huh? What? I'm pregnant. What? Mm -hmm. Baby, let me go grab my phone real quick. Huh? Now in order to do this, what I did was I just took this footage of me running towards the window and hitting the wall here. And I cut it where right before I hit the wall so it looks like I went through the window. And it's gonna flow right into this shot that we really don't have, but what I have is um, footage that I'm going to stitch together. But before we, we do that, we wanna actually color grade this footage. So I'm gonna bring this into uh, After Effects. And what I did was, I took that shot of me running towards the window and I just overlaid two uh, stock footage of glass falling. And this is from Video Copilot, by the way. So these two pieces of, of uh, glass, uh, there's a couple glass shatters that are in there. And I brought this into um, into my composition and I rescaled them to fit the uh, the window and then I pre-composed them again because then I masked the uh, the pre-comp out so that all of the glass shatter happens within this frame because when you lay it over the the footage it kind of goes out of out of the frame and uh, it just doesn't look good so I put those together and then I, uh, and then I made a copy of myself. So basically I made a copy of the bottom layer and then I put it over the rest of the footage and I masked myself out. And what I did was uh, to sell this effect, I wanted to stitch together these two. So I wanted your eyes to kind of see glass shatter, but because these uh, glass shatter stock footage don't, they, they actually shatter inward. Uh, I didn't want you to see that, so I didn't want you to see enough. I wanted you to see a little bit of the glass shatter, but not enough to really notice that it's, it's shattering inward <clears throat> towards the camera. And then I masked myself out to be in front of the glass because the glass was shattering over me then. And so this last three frames is where it really affects the, uh, the image. I didn't really want to do more than three or four frames because uh, you'll notice then the glass is not shattering outward, it's actually shattering inward. So that is gonna fly into the next shot, which is gonna be our completely pre-comped uh, shot. So I took this, uh, I took, there's a, there's a footage of, uh, it's just a still footage of, with a wide lens, and I took it of the house, and I shot it in 4K so that I could take one frame of that and use that to move around and create the movement of the camera. Most of my visual effects shots are actually on still cameras and then I add the movement later. And this is just make it, makes it way easier to do these visual effects shots. Sometimes I don't, depends, I, you know, I, I, I like to move the camera because it gives an authentic movement, but you can really mimic camera movement a lot depending on what you're doing. So I layer this as the bottom layer. This is the, uh, just a JPEG. And what I did was I moved the, uh, the, the image uh, left and then down. And I made this, uh, and really I just made a straight, I, I could have did a curve, but I decided to just do it straight to the car because that's, that's what we're trying to see. It's so quick, it's literally a one second shot. So I keyframed the end to be where this car is. And then what I did was I started working on, um, on my, my own shot. So what I did was I, I actually wanted to keep the lighting the same. I was originally gonna do this in my basement and do some synthetic lights and set up lights and, and do this whole setup. But instead I was like, you know what? The sun's still out in the same position. So I actually did this in front of a green screen outside. And this would keep the lighting the same on me. So I angled the camera where, where I would be because I knew that it was going to be coming, uh, it was going to be sideways, but it was going to be coming towards the camera. So it was going to be on the, a slight angle. And I, I worked at, uh, I, I added a selective color, uh, enhanced the greens, 
to bring it out of the of the green screen and then i did a little bit of a rough key and you know it was a little rough but the um my foot and my hand were outside of the green screen so i actually had to mask this frame by frame for i don't know seven or eight frames so once i got a good uh key and uh, that, that that seemed to work what i did was i added an adjustment layer and this just covered the first half of my body and this this gave me a little bit of shadow because i'm coming out of a dark room and into the sunlight so what i did was i just masked out i did an adjustment layer changed uh, added lumetri color uh, changed the exposure and then i just masked out um, a little part of me and i feathered it and that's how i created a, a little bit of a shadow as i'm coming out of the out of the room i took the video of me or the composition so as i did that i pre-composed the uh the flying version of me and i brought that in and i rescaled myself to to roughly the size that i would be if i was to fly through this and i keyframed the position the, the beginning and the end and then i created a uh, a uh, a curve to the, to the movement so you know that took a little bit of a lining up but i really wanted to align it with this car and so after that what i did was i actually took this image of the house and I brought it into Photoshop and I just cut out the window and replaced behind it uh, just another image of, um, of my room from the inside. And then I lined it up to, to make it look like um, to make it look like it was the inside of my room. And, uh, and I kept it dark. So it really looks like one of the windows is busted. And I put that layer right behind me because of course I'm gonna be in front of, of the house. So I definitely wanna be in front of the room layer. And then after that, what I did was I added uh, this glass, um, this falling glass stock content from Video Copilot. And so I, I resized it and I layered it over the, um, over myself, like I'm, bu like I'm already busting through the window. And what I did was I tracked it to, and I tracked it frame by frame. Usually I don't track things frame by frame. Usually what I do is I, um, I track it with Mocha or I track it in, in After Effects and then, uh, and then I'll just put it to a null object. But I didn't do it this time because it's such a quick effect. I actually just uh, positioned a keyframe uh, to be right around where the, uh, the window was. And to really sell this effect, what I did was I took uh, a directional blur. I always blur every footage. The reason I do that, everything in, in, a, in a visual effect. So I put the blur on the the house background, and I keyframed, um, and I started off pretty blurry, and then it, it gets less blurry. Um, but then I but I wanted to make it to feel like the the motion of the camera was giving it a little bit of a camera blur. So I did that with the glass. Um, and then I did that with uh, the, the layer of, uh, of my room over the window. And then after that, I, um, added, I added motion blur to myself to really sell the effect. But the camera was following me the whole time. So really there is no, cam there shouldn't have been camera blur, but this really uh, affects, or this really sells you that like that I'm really moving fast through this window. So I added a, a, a directional blur and a Gaussian blur. And that's really all there is to this effect. Every effect that I, uh, that I do, I, I just kind of approach it with questioning, well, you know, wh how does this look when a camera, you know, is moving like this and, and what really sells it? Like, what are there shadows? Uh, can I put atmosphere in front of it? Uh, wh you know, how does this glass uh, react. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight on, uh, on how to do an effect like this. Uh, I'm definitely going to approach this again and I'll probably approach it a lot differently next time. But uh, this was just a first time uh, attempt and uh, you know, it was just a fun little project that I did on, on a Sunday afternoon. So I well, hope you enjoyed that and uh, stay tuned for more 
uh, cool visual effects tutorials.